hey cellos and basses um, I'm making you your own separate video because your bow grip is so much different than the violins so and the, the viola so we're gonna work just with you on your bow grip okay so we are gonna be starting on page seven got my book this one's new gonna open it up there we go we're on page seven okay so we're gonna be going over this part we did it with a straw in class if you have still have your straw let's see oh there's a straw for me you can grab a straw you can grab your straw if you can't find your straw grab a pencil okay so what we're gonna be doing we talked about this before now in cello our fingers are like monkeys or sloths okay they're gonna be hanging on that stick okay whoops oh well, righty tighty let's tighten our bow up I haven't tightened my bow you want to get it to where you can put about your middle finger through the middle with the K. We don't want it to be that this is too loose. Can't get my middle finger through or my, or my thumb. This is too tight. If I can put my thumb through, it's too tight. Okay, see how it's straight across? So this, that's about, that's about right. Okay, there we go. Okay, so eventually you're going to be like this. This is, this is what we want it to look like eventually, okay? So we're not up on top. Violins are gonna be like this. They're up on top. So when you think of holding a bow, you may be thinking of being like up on top of it like this or something. But for cellos and bass, cello, bass, you're at a little different angle. Yours is gonna be more like this. Cellos, we want our hand and our wrist and our elbow to kind of all be in line. Okay, so let's go back to our straw. So now you know kind of why, why we're doing it the way we're doing it, okay? So in class, what we did is we flipped our hand over and we're gonna go to that first lines, those lines right there. When you curve your fingers, they all line up together. When they're straight, they go like down, up, down. When you curve them, they all get to be the same. So to help us find that, we turn our hand over and we're gonna rest and then curve your pinky too. And we're gonna curve your fingers around that straw on the first line, not the second line, okay? It's not down in the second line, it's down just up here in the first one. Then you're just gonna bring your thumb up, okay? Just gonna bring your thumb up, all those curving around that first, that first line, just bring your thumb up across from your middle finger, okay? And then it turns over like this. You can also do it from this angle. You can just start with your fingers Drop them down onto there with that, about that first line, not the second line, not the third line, and not on the fingertips. You need your fingers to go over the stick, and then your thumb just comes up, just gently comes up right there. See, it's across from about my middle two fingers. Now, my fingers are have some spacing in between them. They're not all like this, and they're not squished together, okay? Again, we want our fingers to be able to move, okay? That's why we're, that's what we're going for is being able to move our fingers loosely. If they're all like this, all locked up, then they, they can't move at all. Or if they're curved around like this, they can't move. Or if they're leaning back on that pinky like this, they can't move. Okay, so that's the whole point is being able to move. We have our bow on uh, number seven, we have those bow yoga exercises, doing some finger taps. You just kind of wiggle your fingers. Thumb is a little bit harder. You might need to flip it over to be able to move your thumb. Okay, kind of wiggle those fingers, make sure they're nice and loose. Next one is the hey, hey, goodbye. Just again, keeping our, our wrist nice and loose. We wanna make sure we keep an open space right here. Don't squish, don't make it so his mouth's cold, so closed, okay? He needs to have an open mouth. Wave goodbye. And then the rocket ship, take your hand, make a landing pad for it, and blast off up. And then land him back down. There you go, double check your thumb. No hitchhiker thumbs underneath, no straight thumbs. Cello thumbs and bass thumbs are straighter than a violin's. Violins are gonna be very curved, but yours are just gonna be straight, but they have to be able to hinge the correct, the right way, that way, and not backwards like hitchhikers. Okay, once you feel good about that, get your bow. And again, we are doing our beginning bow grip. This is on page eight. We're gonna be doing it up here, okay? So again, hold it with your left hand, the hand that holds your instrument, by your left ear, that one is gonna hold this part so that you can put this hand on without having to hold up the stick because that, that gets tricky. Okay, so hold this up. Don't let go with this hand. Even if you think you've got it, don't let go because your cello is gonna help you hold up your bow when you're playing it. So you're, you need to be able to support it so your fingers stay loose. Okay, so we're gonna, I'm gonna do it this way. I'm gonna feel around where I've got the, 
those middle two fingers on that, in that first line on that stick and then curve my other two around, okay? My fingers, your fingertips, especially where we're up here, your fingertips might touch the edge of the hair and that's okay. Just don't wrap around it, okay? And then I'm going to bring my thumb, let's see, let's see a way to do this. There we go, I'm just gonna bring my thumb up, okay? It's not underneath, it's just kind of on the side right here. If you have, if your bow um, is like octagon, if it's not perfectly round, there's some different sides that your thumb can kind of rest against one of the edges. If, you're, if your bow's round, that's fine. Okay, so do you see how my, I'm keeping it open right here, I'm not squishing it. That's one of the ways you know if your thumb's going the wrong way. And then all my fingers, just keeping it open, all my fingers are hanging on that bow. I don't wanna do this, okay? This is something that happens a lot, is all the fingers squish over like that. We need to stay on the bow like this, okay? Do that a couple of times, practice getting it on there. You can also, and then do also those exercises. There's the finger taps. Here's my, my hey, hey, goodbye. I'm doing it super fast. And then, and then the blast off, Pew. okay? And then of course, I'm checking my thumb all the time to make sure it's going the right way that all my fingers are hanging over that stick. When you feel like you're a rock star and you've got it, then get your cello up. Get back far enough that you can see this. I'm gonna raise my end pin. Okay, remember to raise your end pin. You shouldn't do it while you're standing, but you just loosen that just enough so that it will come out. Oh, that's as far as mine goes. Sometimes, I think all of yours are single, but sometimes they're double. Like mine has an extra one right there. I don't think any of yours does, but if it does, that's what it is. Okay, uh, that's a little bit better. Okay, now I'm gonna, I'm sitting with my cello. Pretend I'm sitting. I'm gonna hold onto it with my left hand. Put my fingers over, bring that thumb up, bring it down to the string. And we play in between the, the, in between the bridge and the fingerboard. A little bit closer to the fingerboard. If you get too close to the bridge, it won't make a very good sound. Okay, now here's really important. We're gonna, we talked about this in class. You open hinge from your elbow. We don't hinge from our shoulder. Okay, hinge from your elbow. <laughs> tricky that's okay that's okay because we're learning but the thing is don't lock your hand up like this or this okay all those fingers are just going over it now if I was sitting down my arm would be lower like this since I was standing up it was a little bit higher okay do you see how my arm is all in line those fingers are loose they're not sitting up here okay anyway that's enough for you to think about and work on for this week um, you can also do the open string basketball game. Do that one again. It looks like some skittles or something. But instead of pizzicatoing your strings, um, when you land on one of them, play with your bow. And then also, if you haven't already finished filling out the top part of your theory page from this line up, and also write me a song, you write an open string song, and I have that, that play along track. The, the count, I don't remember what it's called. The one that's on there where you play along with the open strings. So there's some fun things for you to work on. Thank you guys so much. Have a great week, practice lots, and I will see you next week.